Hi everyone, welcome to Bible Made Easy Podcast. I'm Brother George, thanks for joining me. One thing most people hate to see is the big bullies pushing the little guys around. Conversely, most of us love to see an underdog turn the tables on the big bullies and give them what's coming to them. It's a very popular theme in movies and recently even on short form social media video content. I'm sure you've seen at least a few of those. You know, the big bad bully pushes the little guy around and then gets what's coming to him in the end. Wherever there are big bullies around, you can be sure that God is on the side of the underdog, the oppressed, the disadvantaged and the downtrodden. This is consistently shown throughout the scriptures. Psalm 68.5 calls God a father of the fatherless, a defender of widows. We see God's heart for the underdogs in Old Testament times such as when he delivered millions of Jews from oppression and slavery under the Egyptians, who were the big bullies of that time. And if there was ever an underdog that triumphed over a big bully, it was the teenager David, who armed with just a few small stones and a huge dose of faith in God, was able to topple the mighty giant Goliath against the odds. When pregnant with Jesus, his mother Mary, in a moment of pure joy, proclaimed God's defense of the underdog. Luke 1, 51-53 He has scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. He has put down the mighty from their thrones and exalted the lowly. And then of course Jesus himself was the ultimate champion of the cause of the underdog. At the very beginning of his ministry, he proclaimed that a major part of his ministry was to liberate the oppressed. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he hath anointed me to give good tidings to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, to give sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. Jesus taught us that the power harasses will eventually be brought down, and that the downtrodden will be raised up. Luke 14, 11. For whoever exalts himself will be humbled, and he who humbles himself will be exalted. He also taught us that it is the poor, oppressed and humble, who are blessed, rather than the high and mighty. Matthew 5, 3 to 5. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. And when face to face with the oppressors of the common people, he furiously rebuked them for mistreating the poor. Matthew 23:14. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you devour widows' houses, and for a pretense make long prayers. Therefore you will receive greater condemnation. As I look around at world affairs right now, I see a lot of big bullies throwing their weight around and punching down on the poor underdogs and there's nothing we can do to put a stop to it. It's so unjust and really makes me angry. But it encourages me to remember that Jesus is the ultimate superhero who eventually comes to the rescue of the oppressed every time, just in time. It might not look like it for a while, but he always puts things right in the end. So if you feel beaten down on and oppressed, and like there's nothing you can do about it, put yourself in God's hands. You don't need to wreak vengeance. 
God is the judge and he will repay. As Romans 12.19 says, Never take your own revenge, beloved, but leave room for the wrath of God. For it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, says the Lord. And thankfully there will come a day when Jesus will eternally deliver us all from the biggest bullies of all, the Antichrist and Satan himself. Jesus' second coming will be the most monumental rescue mission of all time, when he raptures all saved believers out of this world to join him in heaven. Soon afterwards, he'll return with us to utterly decimate the Antichrist and his forces at the Battle of Armageddon. And Satan will be imprisoned and bound for a thousand years. Thank God and thank Jesus, the friend of the underdog. Thanks for watching. Please be sure to subscribe, like and share. See you next time. Bye.